And welcome back, everyone. Take a look at this beauty shot. This is our Tepescate Canyon cam. We're looking out into the Santa Maria Valley and seeing a little bit of haze in the distance. And look at this right here. That's some of the low clouds and fog that we saw a lot of this morning in the Santa Maria area. Visibility is down to a quarter mile or less in some spots. And if you live in Santa Maria, Lompoc, San Luis Obispo, and the five cities, you can expect to see a repeat performance of that as we head towards tomorrow morning. To the south, it's a completely different story in Santa Barbara. We're seeing lots of sunshine at this hour, 75 degrees at 71 in Goleta. Look at Gaviota, 83 degrees, and that's because parts of the south coast beginning to see some of these sundowner winds. The airport in Gaviota shows the winds coming out of the southwest, but if you live away from the ocean, a few miles inland out towards the foothills or near our mountain passes and canyons, that's where those winds are being forced to blow hard and blow strong out of the northwest, and there's those dry, warm, and gusty sundowner winds. Another wind advisor tonight because of the winds it went into effect at 6 p.m. it continues until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and I think what we'll see is the strongest gust that I've indicated here 40 to 50 miles an hour across the highest elevations and again through and below those mountain passes and canyons tonight it's mostly clear up in our area but to the south if you're planning an escape to LA San Diego Orange counties they're also going to see some dense fog out there early in the day tomorrow then sunshine for those areas by the afternoon back here at home winds tonight again tomorrow night fog though for the central coast much of central California as well but as we look ahead here's what we're tracking some changes we're warming things up for you as we head into the weekend and next week as high pressure builds in from the eastern Pacific this is going to thin out that marine layer presence still some fog for the immediate coastline but overall more sunshine and warmer temps in your forecast it's also going to lead to some very hot temperatures away from that marine influence so if you live in the interior valleys or maybe you're planning a little weekend getaway to Palm Springs or Vegas be prepared because temperatures are going to be very very toasty in those locations. Uh, back in southern Santa Barbara County tomorrow, gusty winds and plenty of sunshine for your Saturday. We'll see lower 80s around Montecito and Santa Barbara. Goleta 80 tomorrow. Carpinteria topping out at 77 degrees. Some dense fog out here early in the morning, mostly by the coast, maybe a little bit into western parts of the San Ynez Valley, but sunshine for the afternoon hours. Looking at 95 in Paso, some 90s as well in Atascadero, 77 for Napomo. I have 80 in San Luis Obispo, 78 in Camarillo, and 87 tomorrow afternoon in Ojai. Seven-day forecast for Santa Barbara. Patchy fog returns to the south coast by Sunday morning, and even though we'll see it for the next few mornings beyond that, we're still expecting a really early burn off of that marine layer, plenty of sunshine, and a warming trend through early next week, at least through Tuesday. That's what it's looking like right now. Santa Maria temperatures gradually warming here. We'll see some upper 70s by Monday into Tuesday, and then we cool things down a little bit beginning Wednesday. San Luis Obispo, low to mid 80s through Tuesday. Looking forward to July 4th. I know I am. We expect to see a little bit of that gray for the morning. Morning hours, but sunshine for the afternoon and evening should be a nice, nice one. Uh, great viewing weather for the uh, fireworks celebrations that take place up and down the coast every year.